Last time I was on the CityCat, you would have seen me on the brand new CityCat you grew up, the fourth generation CityCat. But today, I'm on the grandfather, first gen CityCat. And this one is Merbapa, I think. I'll find out how to pronounce it later, I'm sure. But enjoy the journey. This is Talking Plenty. Today you join me for a ride on Merbapa, one of Brisbane's first generation city cats, launched in November 1996. Merbapa is the local indigenous name for the suburb of Indrapilly. Like all first generation ferries, they are built by Brisbane Ship Constructions, owned by council and use a Cummins QSM 11 engine. Generation ferries are so much smaller than the one I showed you the other week, Yugara, but they're still a really comfortable way to travel. Even if they don't have a top deck, they've still got a really nice outside area at the front and at the rear, which you can enjoy to soak up those great Brisbane city views and enjoy the wind in your hair. Up this side we see a ferry that is actually a city hopper but it's a bit of a hybrid livery. Um, it decides it wants to be a city hopper when it wants to be and other times it decides it's a um, standard city ferry. First generation ferries have one big party piece and that is you can sit right at the back on this little stool here and get a good view out which from memory I don't think you can do on any other generation ferry so one of the cool bits of travelling on the old school one. The rear deck of these first generation city cats still provides a great comfortable space to sit outside, enjoy the rays and get a great look at, out over the city that is Brisbane. And like all city cats, when the ferry master puts the hammer down, they take off leaving a large wake with a trail of water rushing out of the jets behind. It's still always a memorable sight and one that makes me take the city cat time and time again. I love the view when you angle the top of your camera above the front of the city cat. It's really, really cool and you get an interesting perspective on the city. And of course, the ubiquitous construction works going on for Queen's Wharf. It's a bit sunny, but if you're ever looking to warm up on the ferry and it's a really cold day, go and sit in these front seats behind a little divider that you just walk around there because when the sun's shining on you, it's pretty much impossible to be cold. I love this stretch of the river coming through the city with a lot of the really tall buildings along the riverfront. Although sometimes I do wish that eyesore of a freeway was gone. And look, it's scaffolding bridge again. And now we see the party piece of the first generation ferries and something that only the first generation ferries have and that is opening windows. They are simply just a sliding frame window and you just pull the lever and they go back and forward and you get fresh air. And perhaps when you pan through the rest of the interior, you can really see how much smaller it is than on larger ferries like Yugara and the second and third generation ferries. The flip-up wheelchair seating that you see was not originally fitted to these ferries. It was a change that was made later in life to improve disability access on board. And as usual, we've come along some of the far reaches of the river past Milton and we can put the hammer down and get up to our top speed of 25 knots. Here you can see the fire safety and evacuation safety placards as well as instructions for putting on life jackets. These have to be fitted to all ferries. And now we're passing a second generation ferry as we leave Regatta Station. As we continue to speed along the river, notice the TV that sits in the middle of the cabin. That plays advertisements and information for passengers. 
The next stop is mine. We're just leaving Guyot Park now and heading over to West End. So sit back, relax and enjoy the short hop between the two stops. And there goes Merbapa off to UQ St Lucia. Thanks for the ride. And it was a nice way to get down the river again and head towards West End. So now it's time to pop back into the city and I'm on a city glider now. So I think it's time to say thank you for joining me on Talking Planning and see you again soon. Did you know on Talking Planning, we release a brand new video every Saturday morning at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell to make sure that you're always up to date with the latest Talking Planning content. If you aren't already, you can also follow my adventures on Twitter and Instagram, both with the handle Talking Planning.